Hey guys, it's Julie. I've got Scarlett, Rottweiler in training. We're out on a morning walk in heel. I walk with my arm behind my back so you guys can actually see the dog easier. <laughs> anyway, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the heel command. The heel command is at the left side, at the left leg, or slightly behind so she can follow the left leg. If she's ahead of my left leg, she can't see it, so how can she see where I'm going? It's that simple. How can your dog follow you if they're ahead of you? So I've got to keep her in this perfect spot behind me so she can understand what pace I'm going and what direction I'm turning. Okay, now I've got my e-collar, I've got stim, and I've got tone. I can use tone to get her to close a gap if she's lagging too far behind, and I've got my stim to also help me if she's ignoring the tone or in situations like that where she gets distracted by something on the ground. That was a couple taps out of 12. So do you see how I silently did that? I'm talking to the camera, but I'm not talking to her. The only conversation I had with her was with the e-collar. Because of the training, she understands exactly what I said to her. Don't veer out of heel to eat something off the ground. And we're just having a nice walk. We've got our long line dragging, but I'm not using it to give her any guidance. I'm gonna do a 180 here. Let's see if she follows me. There she is, but she needs help getting back into heel. So I'm gonna tap my tone a couple times. There you are. Now she might need a little help finding that perfect spot. Nope, she's got it. So that tone tells her, hey, close the gap. You're not in the right spot. There we go. So whenever she's not in this spot, some sort of pressure is on, whether that be stem, whether that be tone, or whether that be guidance with my body. And it's a back and forth. So I'm gonna tell her you're not in the right spot. She needs to answer me by either getting back into heel or ignoring me or doing the complete opposite to which my numbers will only increase. Okay, there we go. Now, if I'm continually tapping my tone and she's fixing it, but the problem keeps happening, next time I'm gonna to go to my stem. That's a tap at a 15. Tells her, hey, take me a little more seriously. All right, so we're having this back and forth conversation, but it's without words. I'm not constantly, no, Scarlet, heel, no, no, no. It's all on e-collar. And that is what we train the dog for. So you don't have to have that conversation with your dog where you're screaming at them and they're not listening to you. Couple taps at a 15, she closes the gap. Very good girl. I can always speed up. There you go, good girl. Sit, good girl. I'm gonna flip that camera around. When I stop, she should sit and she should stay until I give her a further direction or I release her. So I might be stopping to check something out. I might be stopping to go to my mailbox. I might be stopping to check my phone, fix something on my remote, pick off something off the ground, tie my shoe. The most important thing is that your dog understands stay stationary and wait for me. Now here, she's probably anticipating a release or a recall. So I'm gonna throw things up just to make sure she's listening and paying attention and ask for something she's not expecting. Down, she says, what? I'm going to click, no, good. Let's backtrack what just happened. I gave her a command. She closed her mouth, which said, I'm listening to you, but I'm going to ignore you. And she turned her head the other way. So I clicked, I'm at a four. And since she wasn't fully paying attention, her head was turned the other way, she started to recall. That got an N-O. And then she said, oh, okay. She asked for a down and she downs, which is what I asked for. Now I can praise her. Good girl, thumbs up, little pat on the head. Very nice job. So now I've got her in a down stay. She stays here again, just like the sit, until I release her or give her another command. Now I can start adding distractions to this. Movement. Very good girl. Distance. Baby talk. Oh, you're so cute. Hey, oh, what a cute little girl. Fast movement. 
crouching down for lots of dogs crouching down like this opening up your arms that's an invite for them to come into your space but it's still not justification to break the down stay so from here i'm actually going to do a recall so if she's staring directly at me i don't need to say her name i can if i want to scarlet good see how she that closing of the mouth from the panting I don't know if you guys can see it because it's far away, but she was panting. And as soon as I said her name, she closed her mouth. That is a good thing. That is, I just heard what you said and I'm processing it. When I recall her, it's going to be saying C-O-M-E and tapping the tone button here and then praising her as she's on her way. And then she's going to sit her down somewhere at my feet. Come, good girl, good girl. Sit. Very nice. Good girl. Now, if you guys could only know how improved that is, because she is a dog who used to plow into our legs to the point where it was actually dangerous. I mean, this is a big Rottweiler who could break somebody's legs. You can't let her plow into your legs. So if I noticed she's running at me full speed, I'm going to start tapping this and I'm going to raise my numbers until I get her to slow down because I don't want her running into my legs. Okay. Very good girl. From here, I'm going to release her. Scarlet. Break. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Now she's on break, but one thing I want to repeat is that down from a sit stay at a distance because I noticed she didn't do it right away. She kind of blew me off. And so that's something that I'm going to keep practicing until we get to be perfect. Down. Very good girl. That's one thing that I wanted to repeat since the first rep, I noticed she completely blew me off and then turned it into a recall. So when the dogs make a mistake like that, we always repeat it until it's perfect. Let's try a join up into a heel. So what I'm gonna do is say the word heel. I'm gonna tap the tone on my e-collar and tap my left thigh. Heel, good girl, babe. And she joins up to my left leg. Very nice. And now we're in an off leash walk. She's gotta work hard. She's gotta follow that left leg or else she loses me and then she gets corrected. So to avoid getting corrected, she's gotta follow my leg. It's hard walking over grass. This provides a whole nother distraction because she wants to check it out. That gets a click. She's back to heel, click, good girl. So every mistake, notice I'm not talking to her. The only way I'm talking to her is through the e-collar. So it's a very silent back and forth. Sit good girl she's like i'm gonna go straight to down now what i'm gonna do now is a long distance recall to the place bed so she stays in her downstay as i back up if she were to break her downstay i would just say no i would click this and i would put her back into her down what i'm gonna do is say c-o-m-e She's gonna come to me, and this time she has a target. I'm gonna to point to it and say place where she should get on. And if she doesn't lay down automatically, I'm just gonna tell her down. Scarlet, come. Good girl. Place. Good girl. Very good girl. I know that bed is really small for you, but you did it. Good girl. Break. Good. 